This is the first of seven training videos for YFCU club and county treasurers. And in this video, we are going to look at what you need to do as a treasurer and why you need to do it. And we're going to start with the why. So YFCU is both a company registered with Companies House and a charity registered with char the Charity Commission. And because of that, we are obligated to submit annual accounts. And as part of that process, we will conduct an internal audit every year where we will look at the accounts for the whole organization. And that includes the accounts of all our clubs. But more than that, we have a team of external auditors that will come in to the office, physically come into the office, stay there for a whole week, and they will go through the accounts of the whole organization, and that includes all of our clubs. So what that means is that if there is one club who has yet to have their accounts approved because they are missing evidence or they're not balanced or for any other reason, it will prevent the accounts for the whole organization, whole organization being signed off and it will delay the audit. So it's really important that all of our treasurers submit timely and accurate accounts. And of course, if you're doing that, it's going to help you keep on track of everything, stop problems piling up for you. It's going to mean that your accounts will be accurate so that if any anybody ever does question them, you can show them your robust and accurate accounts. And it may also count for things like Club of the Year. And there are other treasurer duties like submitting your membership returns that will count for Club of the Year. Now we're going to have a quick look at what you need to do. And there is quite a lot expected of you as YFCU treasurers. It's a big responsibility that you have. So your club, first of all, has to think about who their treasurer should be and appoint somebody who is suitable for the role. And if you're watching this video, we can presume that that has already been done. Really important that you are not only an account signatory so that you can sign checks, but that you are the main account signatory. And if you're the main account signatory, then the bank statements will go to you rather than to a previous treasurer. You will need those bank statements to carry out your role. There will be a process that you will have to undergo with the bank in order for that to happen. And it can take some time for those wheels to turn. So it's a good idea if that process is started a good three months at least before you're due to take over the role as treasurer. The YFCU financial year mirrors the competition year. So it runs from the 1st of September to the 31st of August. And we divide that financial year up into quarters. And we will expect you to submit your accounts at the end of each quarter. What we need you to submit per quarter will uh, vary. The very least, it will be your updated spreadsheet along with all your bank statements for the year so far. But come year end, so end of quarter four, we expect quite a bit more. So we will not only want your spreadsheet and your bank statements, and that will need to be your bank statements for all the accounts, not just for your current account. We will also need copies of all invoices and receipts. So you should retain proof of purchase for every transaction that is listed on your spreadsheet. We will need to see copies of all your used check stubs and lodgement stubs. You will need to confirm the bank details for your club and also all your account signatories. And if your club owns its own hall or owns land, you will also need to submit a solicitor's letter of authority. 
All of the information must then be sent to us at headquarters and it must be sent electronically. If you want some more information on the best way to do that, you can have a look at video seven in this series.